Hey guys, uh, welcome back again to my channel and to another video. So today I'm doing another design space tutorial. This video was, was requested that I show how I use the slice feature in design space. So I have this image pulled up here um, and then that I'm actually going to be using this week in another video. And if you'll see this little icon down here at the bottom of the screen, that is going to be the slice feature that we're going to be using today. So I only have one image selected right now. Um, and to use slice, you're going to need to add another image. So I'm just going to add a little square here out of the shapes tools. And as you can see, when I select both of those, then the slice icon is available. So I'm going to be showing you the ways that I use the slice feature. And I use it to break out these little parts of images sometimes or um, break out text of an image. And then sometimes I use it to divide objects, especially if objects are really large and I need to divide them to get them to actually cut onto my mat. The slice feature is a very handy tool to have. So I'm going to be using this square to show you how to break out parts of an image. And you can also use other shapes such as circles or ovals, depending on what shape the part of the image is that you want to break out. Um, you can use any shape that you would like. But for now, I'm just going to be using this square. So I'm just going to be um, resizing the square. And say I want to divide this whole image in half. So I will create a square the size of the image that I want to break out. And now I'll just go up here to Arrange. And I'll send the square to the back so I can see where my image is going to go. So I'll just place my image um, on the square exactly how I want it to be cut out. Um, then I can select both of them. And now the slice tool is available. And I'll just hit slice. And that will cut everything. And it not only cuts your image, it cuts out the square too. So wherever your text was on the square, that will come out too. Now I'm not going to be using my square. I just want my image cut. So you can delete this or keep it or do whatever you want to. I usually just delete whatever part I do not need. So here you can see that your image has been sliced in half. The black part is my image. And that is the part that I want to keep. Um, the part underneath that is gray, um, this part here, that's just the part that came out of my square. Now I could keep that too and use that and work with that too, but I really don't need it. But as you can see, that is the part that came out of the square. So now my image has been sliced in half and I can work with it however I want to. Now if I go to make the project, you can see how both of these are going to come out on a separate cut. So I can keep continuing to work with the same image. Um, say I want to break out this little coffee cup here out of my image. I'm just going to create another square and send it to the back. And then I can use the same image to slice out another part again. So send that to the back and then just resize the square and slice both of those images. Hit shift and select both and then click slice and now the same thing has happened to the coffee image. It has been sliced out of the image. And just to note, the image that I'm working with here is a PNG. It's not an actual SVG. You would not have to be breaking these parts out if you were working with an SVG. But since I work mostly with PNGs, then the slice tool, I use the slice tool to, um, to break images out so I can change them. And as you can see, I've changed the colors of all the images that I have sliced out of the original. So I can change my text to one color, the coffee cup to another color, and then the first part of the image, I can leave it the same. So it's very handy if you're wanting to manipulate parts of your image. You can also break out 
parts of text to create different kinds of looks with um, your text or do neat little tricks with text as I'll show you here. So I can break out part of this word using the same method and hit slice. So now I have broken out part of my word and I can manipulate that however I want to. I can change the color or I can move it to a different location. So you can just play around um, with different things you can do with the slice tool um, as far as colors or sizes. So you can do a lot there with that. In one of my previous videos, I created this circle of dots to create a border around a sign I was making. Um, but it was a really large image and I had to split that in half. So I'm going to show you how I did that using the same method. Um, so my border was 15 inches in both directions, <clears throat> which is too large for a mat to, to cut on a Cricut mat. So what I did, I just um, went over here and I selected my shape and I selected a square for that and I just sized my square over the portion that I wanted to cut out. And the important thing to remember on this is to place your edges exactly where you want them to be cut. So I wanted um, this image to be cut exactly between these two dots. So as you can see I'm placing the edge of my square exactly between those two dots on the top and then I'm positioning it um, to be between the two dots on the bottom as well. So I just turned my square just a bit so as you can see the edge of my square is between those two and these two dots. So when it's cut it will not be cut cutting out one of the actual pieces of vinyl. It will be cutting out um, a portion in between. So now I'm going to go to split and as you can see my image has been split in half and I will delete all the parts that I don't want. So now I can go and I can cut out two different sections of this border and I can just place them together on whatever type of object that I'm going to be working with whether it be a sign or t-shirt or whatever. So that is how I do that. So real quickly, um, the last thing I want to show you, if you are layering vinyl, um, the slice tool um, can be very useful. I'm going to use this star. You can use whatever image or shape that you want to to slice with another. But I'm going to be using this star on a group of text that I have welded together. And I'm going to slice those two. And you can see how you can kind of manipulate these. Um, if you're layering vinyl, you can change the color. And when you go to create a sign or even iron on vinyl, if you're creating a t-shirt, it creates a really cool effect. And you can just play around with this and, um, and see all the different, you know, things you can come up with with the slice tool. So thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you found it helpful and got some cool tricks got some tips out of it that you found useful. Um, I hope you'll subscribe to my channel. If you are not already subscribed, you will find lots more videos like this and upcoming in the future. Next week, I will be posting an Inkscape tutorial, so be on the lookout for that. So I will see you guys in the next video.